Welcome Jocelyn Center Facebook Live fans. My name is Jack Newby. I'm executive director here at the Jocelyn Center. Uh, I wanna welcome you to our interview Friday show. Uh, today we're doing something a little bit different. We're interviewing someone who actually works here. Um, we, before we get to that, um, just wanna let you know that uh, the Jocelyn Center is a cooling center. So if you are at home and you are uh, putting up your air conditioning and trying to keep yourself cool, but afraid to see your electric bill, come on down to the Jocelyn Center. You can relax in our lobby. You can take part in our programs, uh, find out what our services are uh, and just relax and save some money on your electric bill this summer. So we hope to see you here at our cooling center. Uh, so I'm not gonna cover the programs that are coming up in the next week or so, because that's gonna be up to Melanie. So Melanie, why don't you join us? There you are. Hi, guys. Oh, so exciting to be with Jack today here at uh, Facebook Live. <laughs> see, you all see now what I need to deal with. <laughs> <laughs> OK, so so OK. So tell us what's tell us what's coming up, what's exciting. And today was a Friday and our new program uh, the senior farmers market started so tell us a little bit about that you just led me into my beginning of the next 30 minutes of talking to you guys actually um no i swear it won't be 30 minutes but um we actually started our new farmers market program this month and let me tell you it has been such a success and we have had so much positive feedback we have actually served 93 people or households with fresh fruit and vegetables. I mean, that in its own, like is just an amazing number for a program that is just started. So for the first two times, we have almost 100 families that we've served. Um, the next farmer's market will be in August. It'll be August 12th. Uh, we had everything to like, we don't know exactly what produce we're going to receive, but like today we had acorn squash, cauliflower, organic carrots, blackberries, uh, strawberries, um, broccoli, I think I said cauliflower already, potatoes, romaine lettuce, iceberg lettuce. I mean, this is amazing because a lot of people, fresh produce can, can be difficult, especially when you're on a budget to buy. And it's so vitally important for your health to to have these fresh vegetables and fruits um because it helps with your immune system you know and everybody right now really wants to beef up their immune system so well especially now when you know people are struggling with some of the higher prices they're dealing with this is a great opportunity to get free produce here at the Johnson center and so we have uh our farmer's market on Friday. So now every Friday people can come here because we also have Penny's Pantry. So that's the first and third. Right. And, and the then the second market. and fourth is the uh, farmer's market. And if there happen to be five Fridays in the month, we'll have an extra farmer's market. Not true. Not true? <laughs> not true. Because you know why? July has five Fridays in a month and we're okay. not. Yeah, <laughs> technically we had it today and then next week is the fifth Friday of the month and then the following week will be Penny's Pantry. Okay. So we just have it twice a month for right now, um, but I think there's only two months in the year that have five, five Fridays in it. So, um, but if we need to add it, we will. I mean, obviously we're here at Jocelyn, we're totally about the people we serve. And so if you're over the age of 50, um, please come and utilize our services. That's what we are here for. And that is why I work incessantly to uh, create new programs, which I will get into right now. Um, as many of you know, we are having a um, pop-up yard sale. Uh, no, we're not trying to give revivals or, or angel view any competition. It's just a one-time thing where we are trying to raise funds for programs and special events at the Jocelyn Center um, so that we can, you know, 
can contribute. We have wonderful sponsors for our events, obviously, that we have here, but we also want to be able to make sure that they're the best possible possible events, wowing and inspiring <laughs> that they can be. Um, so that yard sale, we're accepting donations. We started receiving them as of July 1st. So if there is anything in your house, you spring clean, summer clean, fall clean, um, and you're like, oh my goodness, I have this toaster and I just bought another toaster and it's perfectly fine, uh, bring it on down and we can totally use it in our pop-up yard sale. And the date of our yard sale, which we officially have, is going to be Saturday, November 12th. This is perfect time if you need to find some cool, new, interesting gifts to you know give people for the holidays because the holiday season will be coming up. Um, so that's what date we're going to have our yard sale. It will be Saturday, November 12th. We will be collecting all the way up until then. So yes, please bring us your donations. We greatly, we greatly appreciate it. And we will give you, um, if you need anything for as far as uh, for your taxes, uh, we will give it to you as well uh, for your donations. So what's, you mentioned, you know, we talked about food and, and are adding the um, farmer's market. I've heard that there's also something coming up, um, morning bites. Well, Tell us a little bit about that. That's on my, my list. Of okay. <laughs> but I will skip the one next thing that I was going to talk about and go there. Um, okay, so as Jack was saying, we do have a morning bites program. Uh, I'm Italian, so I, I'm really big on feeding people, <laughs> apparently. So um, morning bites is like a continental style breakfast. So we're not cooking pancakes and eggs. You probably wouldn't want to eat my pancakes and eggs anyways. Um, <laughs> but we will have like muffins, pastries, maybe a little breakfast sandwich that you can microwave um juices stuff like that and that will be on every monday and wednesday starting in august so the first monday is i believe august 2nd if i am correct no it's august 1st so on august 1st you can come down to the jocelyn center for right now we're starting it with just mondays and wednesdays we might expand it if it becomes popular and it might turn into something that's five days a week but why not come down have a cup of coffee have some breakfast and, you know, chat and make some new friends. I mean, it's great. So, so why is that important that people socialize and get together and talk? Well, um, let's, let's go with the big M, which people don't want to talk about is mental health. And often we can get into a slump where, which COVID, has brought out um, with people that you get used to, like you kind of become a hermit. You don't go out, you don't do this, you know, do the things that you used to do. Um, and socialization really impacts your overall well being. And that is also includes physical well being. Um, many people think like, oh, it's just, you know, depression, but no, depression can lead to issues um, physically. And our goal here at the Jocelyn Center is to keep everybody healthy, right? Mentally, spiritually, and physically. So um, the holistic approach, right, Jack? The holistic approach, and I'll just throw in there, you know, the research shows that um, lack, of act, lack of physical activity, especially when you're older, can lead to a number of physical health problems similar to what you would experience if you were smoking about a pack of cigarettes a day. And so we all know what that can do to your health. So it's really important is you know, what we do, the socialization and why uh, we have such an energetic program director is to keep, uh, make sure we have a variety of programs, changing programs, new programs, to keep people interested, engaged, um, making new friends. Uh, and, and I'm excited to see, you know, with the cooling center that we have happening now, and, and since we've opened up our lobby and started serving coffee, we're seeing more people socialize and chat and, and make new friends. So that's really important. So I'll let you go back to your script now, Melanie. You said you had you had a few yeah, things going to cover. <laughs> 
Um, but yeah, no, I, I absolutely agree with you on that. And I, I often tell people because some I have some classrooms that are next to my office and they'll say, well, oh, I'm sorry for being too loud. And I'm like, what? Are you kidding me? I'm like, if I hear laughter and like, you know, people talking, I'm like, that means that I'm doing my job. If I hear quiet and silence, that means that I am not doing what I'm here supposed to be doing. So yes, you're supposed to be here and be active and engaged, make friends. This is like the 50 and older clubhouse. So, <laughs> um, so we want you here and we want you engaged and we want you happy and making friends and making plans and, and doing things. And, and that that's, the whole purpose of the Jocelyn Center is to make sure that you are served completely any of your needs. Um, okay, so back to what I was saying. We have some really neat partners um, here at the Jocelyn Center. And one of those is Independence at Home, and they are a nonprofit, and they are amazing. They have, uh, through our COVID pandemic, they did a lot of virtual programming for us online. I mean, um, online is virtual, whatever, but <laughs> uh, they did a lot of virtual programming for us. Uh, however, we do realize that it's hard for some people or maybe they just got bored with uh, being online and doing those programs virtually. So they're in person now. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I'm really excited. This is actually our first day. We had our cybersecurity lecture today uh, first thing this morning, and I was excited to see a lot of our members go into uh, the classroom and meet Myra. She's really sweet and come down and, and take some of the programming that she's offering. So this, well, I mean, you could come to today's uh, as well, because we, we're, she's going to be here doing three classes a day on specific Fridays. But for next week, which is July 29th, we have introduction to Zoom right? But it's not online. You can come here and she will teach you how to use Zoom. Um, and that will be at 930 in the morning. And it's a completely free program. So come on down if you have any questions with using Zoom or you're not sure, or maybe you would like to learn, you'd like to know how, come on down and Myra will show you the ropes. Um, and then the next class we have at 11 with her is goals to reach a healthier you. And this class is basically, you know, when you realize that you want to be healthier, but you just don't know where to start, like, should I exercise? Should I diet? Should I, you know, cut out red meat? Do I eat more eggs? Do I eat more protein? Do I go plant-based? You know, that kind of stuff. There's so much to think about when it comes to trying to become healthier. Um, this lecture is supposed to like put that into alignment and kind of give you a roadmap to how to do, do the approach that you choose, you know? Um, and then at one o'clock, we also have a practice of gratitude meditation techniques. Now we already have uh, a meditation class here, which is run by Glendon. He was on here previously, right, Jack? Um, to yep. talk about meditation technique, uh, to talk about his meditation class. But this is an additional one-time class that it, it'll um, learn how to incorporate meditation um, into your practice of gratitude. Um, and that sounds like a really interesting class and it's next Friday, July 29th at 1 p.m. And then in August... Um, so, so let me, let me, because we have what over 65 classes now a week yeah <laughs> so we don't have time today to go through all of those classes so okay. if people are looking for information or they want to find out and talk to someone about more information how do they do that oh well they can call me or they can go on jocelyn's website which is jocelyn j-o-s-l-y-n and you can i think it's on your screen um, yes and that all the activities are listed there um okay so the other thing they can do is um on that website if they're not members they can sign up for our email newsletter uh and get that email to them every uh every saturday 
So they'll find out what's happening over the next week. The calendar is on the, the website. Yeah. And if they want to call you, that is 760-340-3220, extension. 102. Okay. <laughs> okay, but I'm not done, Jack. I well, I know you, you prepared this script, but uh, we're going to take you off script. And it was on, I know, you, you told me you were going to test me on this. <laughs> I feel like I'm getting a solid C right now. Um, so anyway, so we went over morning bites. Jocelyn Singers are coming back in September. I have to plug them. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> I know it's September, but I want you guys to know if you're interested in singing, singing with the group, please uh, come and join the Jocelyn Singers. They'll be back here September 12th. Um, and that is from, hold on a second, 9 to 11. That's a Monday, September 12th. They meet on Mondays. And if you're interested in that, please call Eva Myers. Her phone number is 760-641-7222. Once again, that's 760-641-7222. I look forward to seeing all of our wonderful singers um, come back to the center. I know we've been anticipating that. We had them at St. Margaret's for a while, but now they're going to be in the center. So that's exciting. Um, okay, get tech. We're actually full until September on appointments for GetTech. Yeah, so that means call and make your reservations now because we need, <laughs> we need to add classes for GetTech. That's yeah. Uh, <laughs> Which brings me to my next next thing: volunteers. We absolutely love and cherish, and we thrive as an on, as an organization on volunteers. So if you are interested in volunteering go to jocelyncenter.org and go under about and go to volunteers. And there you can fill out the application and it'll give you a list of all the areas that we need volunteers in. And it'll tell you the times of, well, you know, what the shifts are and everything so that you can kind of see what we need. And if you're interested in volunteering and think you think it's something that you're interest, you could do, uh, please fill that form out and we'll have Judy give you a call. Uh, we love volunteers and we just need them constantly. So, yes. Volunteers are a vital part of what we do. Before you go on, I'm going to let you do one more thing. But before you go on, uh, I want to let people know about the Wellness Center and what's happening there. Um, so coming up to the Wellness Center uh, in August, uh, August 10th and 17th, is our next brain boot camp session and those that's a two session course uh, and that's a great course it's from uh, ucla longevity center and even melanie got trained in in great boot camp is, and is so familiar with it and we're gonna work on a way so melanie can teach that class um, because it is very popular all of our classes are filled uh, so it's important if you want to register for that uh, Call um, Jose at 760-340-3220, extension 117. That's Jose at 340-3220, extension 107. And we all know we're in the 760 area code. And then also coming up <laughs> is our Aging Mastery Program. And that's starting on August 16th. Uh, and that's a five session course. And that covers some things that none of us ever wanna talk about or think about like making final plans, um, or the importance of socialization, um, the importance of exercise, fall prevention, sleep, and experts in those fields uh, come in and they talk to you about those various things and you can engage and, and talk with them. And, and one of the biggest mistakes I heard, and this is from people who um, have counseled people in hospice, is that those hospice patients regret that they haven't made plans for the future. Uh, and they're they're spending the last days of their life scrambling uh, to try and catch up. So it's something we hate to think about it, but it's something to think about. And then it's off your mind. You don't have to worry about it uh, and you can enjoy your life. Um, the other thing, we have a number of exercise programs go for life uh, Monday through Friday with Jose. Uh, and that is a one hour exercise program at eight in the morning. Um, so if you are so if you're a morning person, <laughs> it's a great class. And then if you want to do weight training, 
Um, we have our fitness center in the wellness center that you can also make reservations to uh, attend. And if you uh, need to learn how to use the machines, Jose will show you a video on how to do that. Uh, so that's what's going on in the wellness center. And we'll give you one more shot, Melanie, before we have to say goodbye to our lovely audience. What, you don't want me to be here all day? <laughs> no. I mean, we could go over the 64 programs if you'd like. <laughs> um, okay, so real quick, three more things for me to mention, um, which we will actually be interviewing our balance conditioning instructor. Our balance conditioning class is extremely popular. I mean, we're talking about, we have a class of 20 on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And now exciting news, we are starting a new balance conditioning class, adding an additional class on Fridays at 11. So balance conditioning, everybody wants to know like what it is. And, and Debbie will be coming on here to talk about it, but it basically, it works on your posture, your strength and your overall body movement. Um, and also joint management, it eliminates arthritic pain. Um, and it's great for your mind and body. Debbie is a lot of fun and you guys will, for those of you who know her, but those of you who will meet her on Facebook, she is a lot of energy. Um, and you basically work on stre stretching and strengthening for better balance. Um, we have all ages in this program. So it is something for all levels. Uh, and if you're interested in coming at $7 a class and just Come on down to the Jocelyn Center. All right, and then down to two things now, Jack. <laughs> caregiver support group. Our caregiver support group is actually meeting today. Um, and so if you are a caregiver, and that includes someone who's taking care of their parents, a parent taking care of a child, you're taking care of your sister. And I'm talking about even if you like, if you go and you do errands for this person, like just going to the pharmacy, you are considered a caregiver. Um, I think a lot of people don't realize, like, they think of the term caregiver and they're like, oh, you know, the person has to be, you know, in a bed and then I'm taking care of them and, I'm, you know, bedpan, everything like that. And that's not, um, that's not what a caregiver is. It, it, it's part of what a caregiver is, but um, being a parent is being a caregiver. So um, this support group. Uh, it was started and it was actually an offshoot of our care pathways program, which was like a, I think it's a nine session. I don't want to speak for Guillermo, but it's like a nine session office on aging program where they go over all the aspects of caregiving. And so this caregiver support group was created just so you can come and like talk and meet other people that are in situations similar to you and, and, you know, get other ideas from them and, and go off of one another. So caregiver support group. Next one is August 5th, um, and you are more than welcome just to show up. So um, there's no reservations required. Okay, Melanie, you have 30 seconds for your last, last one. Week. Last one, last one. Okay, so this is a big one. And Jack knows this is a big one because he looked at me when I bought all of these things. <laughs> um, 20 seconds. Peyton Sip, August 30th. Okay, from one to three, it's $10. All supplies are included except I am not giving you alcohol. It is non-alcoholic, like sparkling Welch's grape juice. You'll get the like drink, you'll paint your picture. It's a sea turtle, it's paint by numbers. Anybody can do it. Everything, all the supplies are included. And when, even if you don't finish in those two hours, you can take it home and finish it with all the supplies. So please call me at 760-340-3220, extension 102 to make reservations for that because space is limited. I am only taking five people. So make sure you call me, make a reservation. It will be a blast, I promise you that. So I'm done. So Melanie, thank you for updating us on some of the programs that we do. Again, we have about 65 programs each and every week. We are a cool center. I wanna thank you for tuning in. We will see you next week uh, for interview Fridays and hope you all have a great weekend. Uh, and uh, if you've missed any interview Fridays and you want to see them, uh, check out Jocelyn Television on our YouTube channel. Uh, so have a great weekend all. Goodbye. And thank you, Melanie, for your enthusiasm and all your hard work. Thank you, Jack, for not firing me yet. <laughs> <laughs>
kidding. All right, you guys have a wonderful time. I look forward to seeing you at the Jocelyn Center.